Hello and welcome to this video where uh, I'm going to show you how to automate Instagram follow-ups and how to personalize on top of that so that we can get the maximum amount of conversions and in the end the maximum amount of clients, all right? So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, we actually going to need to track our prospects so that we can then follow up with them, all right? So uh, that means we have to track our data, our prospects into some sort of sheet. And I've already created this sheet for you. I've already recorded a video about it. This is going to be sort of a uh, addition to that video where I'm going to show you how to follow up with the prospects automatically without doing that by yourself. All right. So let's use just an example. So we'll use a profile of my brother here and uh, we'll go into message. We'll copy the uh, message URL. And now we need to add the first name here because this is what we are going to use for the personalization. So you always need to enter the correct first name here or the uh, name you want to call that person. And then the link from the message URL, all right? Not, not from the profile, but from the message, all right? This one. Now, once we have that, it automatically uh, adds to the stage. In this case, it's going to be engage in the beginning. We have uh, three stages or four stages. We have engage, kindly, booked, and no, not interested, all right? And uh, if we are in between those two stages, this is where we can actually follow up. If we are in the book stage or not interested stage, this is where automation will automatically not follow up with these people so that uh, we don't bother them anymore, all right? And now let's just... Uh, duplicate this so that we have more prospects here you will see that it doesn't apply uh, always this sort of automation here because uh, you need to copy and paste this one amount of times but uh, for this example let's just uh, stick stick with it this way all right and also if you are going to do this there's like a hidden sheet where you would also need to do the same thing in this case where uh, it will start counting the engaged prospects now to the automation. So what we will need to do is, as always, uh, we're going to be using our lovely tool called Axiom AI. All right. So if you don't have already, you should install it. You can use it for free uh, with the two hours of runtime, and then you have some really uh, good options with the pricing as well. Now, uh, once you've installed that, what do you do here? Click on it, open it up, new automation, import automation, and uh, I'm going to share the outreach sheet here in the resources in the video as well as the automation itself so they can import everything up you don't have to really know how this works but i'm still going to explain to you so that you can make some modifications down the road right we just click here confirm and now we have the automation what we want to do right now is just select the tracking sheet that we uh, have so for my case it's going to be ultimate outreach tracker that's the name of the sheet and same here in the uh, last sheet, it's going to be ultimate outreach tracker. And uh, just to make sure you need to insert here a sheet name called insert here. Okay, this is what I forgot to do here. And I'm going to explain to you why am I doing what am I doing in a second. All right, so what the automation does is uh, it reads the data from uh, this outreach tracker that we have here. And it reads it specifically from the insert here sheet, all right? Because what it will do is, uh, let me show you how it works, right? So if you want to follow up with these prospects, let's say at the beginning of the day, we just need to click Control A and Control C right now and go into this sheet, click Control A, Control D. And now it pastes the same sheet into here, all right? And what it will do is it will take prospects beginning from uh, row 10 and it will check the stage that they are in and check the follow-up stage, all right? So if they are in follow-up stage two, follow-up stage three, it doesn't matter, all right? It will take care of that. Now, we have seven different options that we can follow up people with, all right? So uh, how we how do we do it is that we have up to seven follow-ups for, follow for each stage. You can modify this. Uh, I will show you how to modify it later on. But... Uh, in this follow-up automation, you can actually account for all the different seven follow-ups, all right? So uh, that is how we do it. And then it goes through this sheet and starts uh, going through, goes to the first prospect, messages him, all right? Then deletes this row, then this one is the first row, right? And then it continues. But we need to do it in a separate sheet so that it doesn't delete 
the rows from this main sheet because we are also probably tracking here the messages, all right? So that's the uh, meaning behind it. Now, uh, I would highly recommend you to watch the video about uh, the tracking itself because I'm going more into details there and uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So if we go now into the automation itself, as you can see here, what uh, you need to do is the first insert the uh, tracker sh sheet, then here is uh, where it uh, filters out the not interested and book prospects. So it automatically skips those, deletes those prospects, so it doesn't message them. Now the next step is it step skips the prospects that are already in the stage seven because that would mean that we would have to follow up with it the eighth time. And we don't do that. So actually, if you just want to follow up with people twice, or I don't know, twice, uh, or maybe three times, four times, you can just change this number up. And then in this sheet, uh, for example, I'll show how I'll show this later. Okay, you will understand it later on. Now it got conditionally jumps to another stage, which is called can lead in this case, in this case, uh, which is the second stage. So we have engaged stage, can lead stage. Can lead stage means we've already sent them can link. It can also be some other CTA. Doesn't matter. You just have two separate sections. Uh, I wouldn't really change the names of it, it's harder, but you can have it for as uh, whatever you want, all right? Now, and to these uh, actual follow-up stages. So, right here, you can uh, it skips between the second and the last uh, follow-up stage. And here is where you can start entering the follow-ups itself. So, right now, what I did is just enter one through seven, so that you know what follow-up uh, are you sending out? So if we just run this automation real quick, uh, let's see. All right, we can probably run it. Let's just uh, make some flop stages here and run it ourselves. So what we will do right now is open up Chromium, which is another browser. I highly recommend it to, to, for you to run this in uh, the desktop app of the application so that you don't get into any trouble all right all right so uh, i'm back here i realized i made a mistake where uh, i was pasting the uh, addresses here what i was doing is doing this right and then uh, what it did is it changed the number at the end of it right and that's why i wasn't able to send the messages now as you can see automation is working as it should. Uh, right now there are just like numbers that we are using to uh, not really, it's not really specified, but what we can do here, let's just send one last message here. Okay. And what we can do here actually is personalize it. Okay. So if we want to use the name that we are using here is uh, what we just need to do here. For example, if you want to engage first follow up, what we can do here is insert data, Google Sheets, like the Google Sheets, and click here on the column E. Okay. Once you do that, save. And let's try it out. So if you want to reach out to, uh, if you want to send the first follow-up, this needs to be at nothing. This needs to be empty, all right? If it's at one, then it's gonna send out the second follow-up. So just need to run it like this. Now, if we open it up, all right, as you can see, it personalized the name. So uh, this is how you personalize the name. You can change these however, however you want, all right? And now to the point. So once we are done with this, what we are going to do here is return to our main sheet and let's say that we followed up with them. These are like the stages that they are in, okay? And let's say this one we already did to seven. Uh, so we didn't really follow up with him. Now what we, what we could do is just manually follow this up, but uh, when you have hundreds of prospects here, that's going to be very hard for you to do and uh, that's why I actually d uh, created this, all right? so. After you're done with the follow-ups, you just click here on this and it's automatically going to update every one of these uh, follow-ups to plus one. 
except the one that is already at number seven, okay? And that is because what I use here is called app script, where I've uh, programmed it myself uh, with the help of ChatGPT actually to do how uh, whatever I wanted. And in this case, just wanted to do at max seven follow ups and then it would stop, right? And for every other prospect, it did plus one. So this is how we can effectively follow with people on uh, Instagram using this uh, spreadsheet. This automation doesn't cost you anything except that uh, it would close after 30 minutes or you have to restart it, but it doesn't really matter. And so just to recap the process, you need to first insert the prospect. So you maybe automate the first uh, sending out of the messages, then someone replies to, then insert them here into the tracker. And then you move him based on uh, what he replies. If he's not replying, you start following up with him, right? Follow number one, follow number two, follow number three. I've showed you already how to do this, how we can personalize your follow ups, all right? And what you can do here is if you don't want to go past certain number of follow ups, let's say past number four, you can just do it here like this, it would save. And if the follow up number is, or you can actually, if you want to do number four, then you would have to do uh, something like this, right? Where you would not include any of these numbers. Now there is caveat to this, is that uh, when you then click here on update stage, it's gonna go past the number four because it's not programmed here. What you can uh, try to do is go into uh, ChatGPT, try to talk with it, try to paste the script in there and see uh, what it can do. But uh, anyway, you can also uh, try to reach me on Instagram. I am going to start a series right now where I'm going to be documenting my whole journey of uh, gaining thousands through fans. So that's going to be very exciting. Make sure you follow me there. And also, if you have not already, go check out our free community on school that uh, we are hosting for free right now, uh, but we are not accepting everyone. So make sure you uh, try to join there and uh, we can continue the discussion there, all right? So this is gonna meet for this video. You have everything in the resources and uh, ask me on Instagram if you have any questions about that. But uh, yeah, see you in the next one.